Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Joshua Segura, principal of Woodstock North High School. I have the humbling honor of presenting our graduating class. Please rise to recognize the Woodstock North class of 2023. At this time, I would like to ask our audience and graduates to please remain standing and remove your hats as our senior choral graduates come up to perform our national anthem.
You may be seated. Thank you, members of our orchestra and choir, and to the directors, Ms. Sabateri and Ms. Kim, for your performances this evening honoring the class of 2023. Before I officially begin my address to everyone, I want to talk directly to the seniors. Wow, all of you look amazing. The graduating class seated before you is of the highest caliber and I am proud of their accomplishments. Amongst our graduates' innumerable accomplishments, I'd like to hi highlight a select few. The senior class was awarded over $1,020,000 in scholarships. 76 students graduating with honors, 19 Illinois State scholars, 42 students who earned the seal of biliteracy, and three were recognized as trilingual scholars. 17 of our students were members of the International Thespians Honor Society. Multiple choir students have performed over 150 different songs while attending Woodstock North High School. Multiple individuals, uh, I'm sorry, multiple individual and state athletic team qualifiers, four conference championships. Nearly 75% of our graduates will attend a two or four year college. 15% of the graduates will enroll in a trade program, the vocation, a vocational program, or an apprenticeship program, the military, or directly enter the workforce. I'd like to recognize our graduates who plan to serve our country as enlisted members of the military. Will those students please stand? Students standing, thank you for our service to our country. It is now my great pleasure to introduce our co salutatorians, Tegan Duvall and Kyle Morey. Tegan will be attending the University of Illinois Urbana Champaign, and Kyle will also be attending the University of Illinois. Urbana Champaign. In recognition of their achievements, Tegan and Kyle will now be presented with the Salutatorian Medals. Congratulations, Tegan and Kyle. <laughs> Tegan and Kyle and Nicholas Dixon will be introducing our honored guests. Please welcome Tegan, Kyle, and Nicholas to the podium. Welcome everyone who has joined us tonight in celebrating the graduating class of 2023. This class, well, it's something. It's something great. Through these past four years, we have experienced some pretty memorable moments. Pieing teachers in the face, watching fabulous and even picking up a few conference championships. The road that got us all here today was no easy one to travel though, but regardless of all of that, we made it here. Together. together. 
In addition to all your support, we would like to express our gratitude to a few individuals who have greatly impacted our class and today's ceremony. They take on a variety of roles here at Woodstock North, and their constant encouragement and impassioned dedication has helped each and every one of us develop into the people we are today. Our class is lucky to have district leaders who have been a guiding presence in our schools. They have allowed us to improve and grow. Their combined efforts have helped ensure an excellent education for all students of our district. These individuals are Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Mike Moan. <laughs> Associate Superintendent, Mr. McAdow. and Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Justin Smith. We'd also like to welcome and recognize the school board members of District 200. They are a committed group of, of community members who work countless hours on behalf of students and staff to make sure that District 200 will always be known for its quality education. Thank you to our cu current school board members for all that they do and for joining us here tonight. Dr. Bidwell, Dr. Ferris, Mr. Gilmore, Mr. Headley, Mr. Omuth, Mr. Maselli, and Mr. Parisi. Last, but certainly not least, a warm welcome to the class of 2023 class advisors, Mrs. Zinnan and Mrs. Dahlman, Principal Segura, Assistant Principals, Mrs. Spear and Mr. Weaver, Athletic Director, Mr. Rose, Dean of Students, Mr. Schroeder, and the Principal's Secretary, Ms. Panos. Please give them all a round of applause. We would also like to acknowledge all of the teachers in attendance tonight. Will you all please stand so we can give you a round of applause. Thank you for the warm welcome and introductions, Tegan, Kyle, and Nicholas. We are so proud of your achievements, and we wish you the best in your future endeavors. At this time, we would like the rest of our varsity choir to join our graduate members as they perform I See Stars.
It is my pleasure to introduce Val Victorian Nicholas Dixon. Nicholas is graduating with a 4.92 GPA. In the fall, Nicholas will be attending the Milwaukee School of Engineering. Nicholas will now be presented with the Val Victorian Medal. Congratulations, Nicholas. Nicholas, Tegan, and Kyle will be sharing a message with the class of 2023. Please welcome Nicholas, Tegan, and Kyle back to the podium. I, for one, am grateful to have been offered the opportunity to pursue an individualized education. The administration has been nothing but supportive of my endeavors. I am especially grateful for being allowed to accelerate my studies within the Spanish department by starting with the more advanced AP Spanish language class. This allowed me to maintain my involvement in both choir and band while also allowing me to participate in some of the engineering classes that I was interested in. I am sure this flexibility has impacted us all, whether we are able to learn the, to change the oil in autos while also pursuing a love for cooking in the foods class, or we create a fun project in computer science while also making an incredible drawing in graphics. There was never a lack of opportunity for those who seeked it out. Our role models, mentors, and overall supporters are the reason we are all gathered here today. I was not always the studious individual that I am now. However, there was one teacher who saw a spark in me that I couldn't and is the reason I am here before you today. Someone who took a chance on me in my standardized test scores and other scales said otherwise. Of course, there are a handful of role models and educators that I will forever hold dear in making my 12 years in this district pure magic. And you all know who you are. The person, though, who is the one that forever changed my outlook on education, the individual that made me see myself as a quality student, and the reason I am able to go to my dream school was my sixth grade math teacher, Mrs. Braun. I will never forget the day I came home from school and my mom told me that Mrs. Braun wanted me to move up a level in math. She was the first domino that allowed me to discover my true love for academia. Mrs. Braun, I thank you. I want you all to take this next couple of moments and to think about who your pivotal mentor is. The person that allowed you to discover your passion or who was in your corner since day one. Maybe they're here with us tonight. I want you to thank them for me because the individuals that you all shaped up to be make me very proud to be a part of this class. After we walk across the stage, I know we are going to leave our mark on this school, our community, and beyond. Sure, we are all sitting here in the moment now, but if you don't pay attention, You'll blink your eyes, and you'll be ready at your next milestone, wondering where all the time went. Don't get me wrong, there are times where you want the time to zip by, like during finals or AP testing. You may have even said to yourself, once this assignment is over, or once the week is over, or even once high school is over, at that point I can finally relax and be happy and resume my life. But this way of thinking misses the point. Life is meant to be lived in the moment. We must take the good with the bad. We need to be present. Even in times of stress, Having the ability to see little glimmers of hope and gratitude make all the difference. We can start right now by taking in this ceremony. Notice the people around you, your loved ones, and this feeling of accomplishment and excitement for the future. Thank you to all you wonderful people who have made such a positive impact on our lives, and we hope you take our words to heart. Please enjoy tonight's ceremony.
Thank you, Nicholas, Tegan, and Kyle. We know you will continue to make us proud, and we appreciate your thoughtful words. To represent the senior class, I would like to welcome Anna Torkelson up to the podium to give the senior class presentation. Please welcome Anna Torkelson. Hello, everyone. First and foremost, I'd like to say how honored I am to be up here speaking on behalf of my class tonight. I kept going back to this idea of what it means to be part of the class of 2023, and I thought long and hard about it. Our class is truly all about involvement and spirit. We do so while having our own individuality, and we make it part of something bigger here. What I mean by that is, here at Woodstock North, we were all given the opportunity to thrive as individuals while also being surrounded by people that felt like a family. We took all of our uniqueness and made a special community. To really shed some light on who the class of 2023 is, I wanted to share some statistics with all of you. 11 seniors completed the dual degree program and will earn an associate's degree as well as their high school diploma. 22 seniors met the 300 credit club requirement, 32 seniors will earn their AP diploma, 52 seniors qualified for cum laude, 112 seniors earned their 12 and 200 award and have earned 12 or more college credits while in high school. 37 seniors are involved in band, choir, and orchestra. 50 are involved in the visual arts. 17 seniors participated in the theater program. And finally, 111 seniors were in athletics this year. Can we get a round of applause for this heavily involved class? Those statistics don't even cover extracurricular activities like clubs or honor societies. We all got to fit into our own niche and grow into the true versions of ourselves while accomplishing some truly amazing things with our peers. This class decided to put in the work after online learning during our freshman and sophomore year. We had a lot to catch up on, and I can confidently say that we caught up. We had successful sports seasons and beautiful theater productions. I am beyond proud to be a small part of this class. This year we coined the slogan, The Last Dance, referring to one of the greatest athletes of all time, Michael Jordan. Referring to one of the greatest athletes of all time, we chose to take his number 23 and hone in on the idea of taking this final ride and doing amazing things with it. We brought some normalcy back to school and tried to ignite some lost spirit post-pandemic. From float building to football games, our class gave back in the only way we knew how, love and support for one another. We also decided to give something back to our school in grander form. I'm pleased to announce that the senior gift from the class of 2023 will be a mural of our mascot, the Thunderbird, right here in the gym. We wanted something that everyone could truly enjoy and hopefully continue to rally spirit the, once, the way we once all did. From senior sunrise to senior sunset, our class found ways to be creative and achieve on high levels. Some of us have had the privilege of knowing each other since kindergarten. That's 12 years. We have been on this journey for 12 years. It has all been leading up to this moment and I wanna thank everyone for all of this. I want everyone to soak this in. Honestly, I am not too worried about this group of individuals. If we did all of this in high school, I know our futures are exceedingly bright. It was the best last dance a girl could ask for, so thank you for letting me be a part of it. Thank you, Hannah. At this time, I would like to introduce Sean Pagliacelli to the podium to deliver a message on behalf of the Woodstock North Student Council. Please welcome Sean Pagliacelli. Thank you for the introduction, Mr. Segura. I'd like to thank you all for navigating the parking lot to be here with us today. I don't know if I can speak on behalf of all the graduates when I say this, but I'm so glad I never have to do that again. On a more serious note, I'd like to thank all of our honored guests, family and friends, faculty and staff, and everyone else who has supported us to this point. As we sit here today, dressed in our caps and gowns, we cannot help but feel a mix of emotions, excitement for what the future holds, and a sense of nostalgia for the memories we have made over the past four years. Our journey in high school began just four years ago when we entered this building as freshmen. While I try not to reminisce on the embarrassing trends of that year, I remember it as the year we started paving our legacy in this building. And in March of 2020, as you all know, everything changed. Our class was forced to adapt. 
Our sophomore year started like no other. Block schedules, Google Meets, not turning on our cameras, and a certain chemistry teacher lighting his hand on fire. We couldn't see our friends, our family, or the outside world for what felt like an eternity. When we finally came back into the building, everyone had changed. Junior year was spent, was spent trying to cram two years of memories into one. We had record-breaking attendance at homecoming and again at prom. We may not have won football games, but we were the loudest student section in the conference. We wanted to take none of the time we had for granted. Senior year, our last dance. We had one more chance to break records, make memories, and grow closer. And we did just that. As a class, we were tasked with leaving a legacy, and man, have we succeeded. Our imprints last in the hearts of our teachers, administrators, and underclassmen peers. But most importantly, it paved the way for Thunder Pride for years to come. As we move on from this chapter in our lives, I challenge us all to take pride in our own endeavor wholeheartedly as we have for the two on black. We may all be going in different directions, but our compasses will always point north. Take care and take pride. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Each year, a student from the graduating class is selected to speak on what the Thunder Wave means to that graduating student. This year, we are honored to have two students, LaShawn Hayes and Devin Farmer. Please welcome LaShawn Hayes. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Principal Zagura. First, I would like to start by saying it's an honor to stand before you all today as the class of 2023 says goodbye to 12 years of laughter, tears, determination, and patience. Yes, lots of patience. Next, I would like to say thank you, Mom and Dad, for giving your all. Thank you, grandparents, for being my children, too. Thank you, aunts and uncles, for always believing in me, and siblings and cousins, always ready to turn on. Thank you, family, friends, peers, faculty, and staff for allowing us to grow as individuals and seek our full potential. I would like to start by thanking the class of 2023 for the sacrifices you guys have made. I stand before you all today as just another face of the crowd, a kid with a smile, a dream, and determination. Yet throughout the years, I have learned it never gets easier. Yet we learn to adapt, rebuild, and succeed. Growing up, has Growing up has not always been easy living in a world that has not always been so kind. From a young age, I, like many of you, were bullied for not looking like others, whether that meant race, grade, and or financial status. But I soon learned the power I had within, and I thank you all for helping me get there. I know many of you is talented, hardworking, and enthusiastic students. Now as seniors leaving high school, I have had the chance to be a leader and help others who are in my situation. You are not alone. Sometimes it takes going through battles to truly understand your worth and full potential. We can reach our greatest potential together. In the year of 2020, so many were lost. Many hopes were emptied with shattering hearts around the globe. Out of the 350,000 deaths from COVID-19, my grandmother was sadly one of them. And I would like to honor her and all our loved ones who cannot be here with us today. My grandmother helped me develop my love for culinary arts that I would pursue after graduation. I am here today to honor her and go on living for my loved ones that deeply care for me throughout my journey. I know in my heart if she were here today, she would say, you did it, grandson. And I would say, no, we did it. But truly, it would be naive to say I'm here on just half of my piece, just half on myself. But truly, I'm here on behalf of you. I'm here to be the voice for those who wish they could say or do more. I'm here to share what the Thunder Way truly means. Who would have thought someone like me would be giving this speech? This is a reminder that anything is possible no matter where you come from. Now, I would like to take this time. Seniors, please take a moment to, grab, to glance over at your federal uh, graduates. My bad. Next. Sorry, I lost the for a second. These are the young men and women of the future. They have helped us shape ourselves into our present selves. We are bold, courageous, and fearless leaders. Can you believe this is it? The part where we are not able to say, see you next year, or compare our schedules for the upcoming year. No more tailgates, dress-up weeks, or pathways for class. 
If you are afraid, worried, and are scared, you're not alone. In fact, a quote from the great Harriet Tubman states, every dreamer begins with a dream. Always remember you have the strength, patience, and passion to reach for the stars and change the world. It's a bittersweet night as we say farewell to what's up north and hello to the outside world. So on that note, I would like to end where it all began. Congratulations to the class of 2011, first grade. Congratulations to the class of 2015, fifth grade. Congratulations to the class of 2019, ninth grade, eighth grade. And finally, a big round of applause for the senior class of 2023. Remember, seniors, we are Thunder Strong. May you all enjoy your new adventures. Please welcome Devin Farmer to the podium. Thank you, Principal Segura. Welcome all parents, relatives, teachers, administration, friends, and class of 2023. I would like to give a special shout out to my mom that is in the crowd tonight, and give special shout outs to all the other awesome parents and guardians in the crowd tonight. I, will also, I also want to give shout outs to Mr. Sullivan, Mr. Clark, Ms. O'Hava, Ms. Bohat, Ms. Chambers, Ms. Luisi, and others. Everyone in this building deserves a big thanks for helping us seniors reach this point. The teachers and administration have really helped us become the young adults we are today. Looking back on my past school experiences, I had some positive and negative experiences. In the past, I wasn't the best student when it came to turning into silence, but hey, who is? I hated doing some sort of word essays, but I got through it. In fact, I even thought about dropping out once or twice. And, uh, sorry, I lost my place. And was so sick to my stomach that I just didn't want to work at all. I just sit there and push it off, but really I was just holding myself down and making it worse. So I told myself, hey, I gotta get back up, man. I might have been knocked down, but I gotta get back up here. And here we are. Look at me now, mom. The Thunder Wave taught us to never give up, right? My mama taught me that too. Yeah. Our future starts now. Since we're done with school, we have everything to look forward to. And I know that's hard to believe because it only seems like yesterday we were a freshman that just got out of the eighth grade. We all have different futures and different directions we're gonna go, but it's gonna be great. We are Thunder and we're gonna do great things. Let us have pride, Thunder. One piece of advice I would like to give, and I'm sure you've all heard this before, but I'm gonna say it anyway. If you have goals in life, do whatever you can to make them come true, because there's nothing like accomplishing your goals and knowing that it was you that accomplished it and no one else. The most common put, so, well, one of my goals is to make enough money to take my family on vacation wherever we wanna go. The most common question that is asked in school is, what has school taught us that will prepare us for life? And I know some of y'all are like, school ain't teach me a darn thing. <laughs> but y'all teach me. But we know that's not true. School has taught us math, economics, science, and engineering, and so many other things. And you'll need those things if you want to be a teacher, a salesman, a mechanic, or the next scientist to come up with a cure for a future disease. We were taught the Thunder Way, and we'll go out in the world continuing the Thunder Way to make the world a better place. Here, North stands for never give up, own your choices, respect differences, take chances, and have pride. One way we can use thunder to, the Thunder Way to make the world a better place is to respect differences. When you respect differences, you're setting yourself up to make very good connections in life, which can bring you to succeed in life. All of us graduates have a lot of plans after tonight. Some of you are going into the military, some of you are going into college, some of you are going directly into the workforce. My plan is to get a big house with nice cars, beautiful children, and I plan on getting all of these things by pursuing my passion for fighting. A few of you already know that I want to get into boxing, judo, and MMA. I know it's a dangerous profession, but I got through high school, so I should be fine. Who knows, you might see me on TV. Boxing is all about endurance, taking hits and dishing them out. 
Boxing is gonna help me increase my never give up attitude, making me a strong and capable, capable young man. With that being said, I want to give thanks to my mom again for helping me get to this point. You've been a real brother, Dad, since day one. Let us all have a bright future and let us make the most of ourselves. Thank you for listening. Thank you, LaShawn and Devin. I'd like to invite our student speakers to join their classmates on the floor. Dr. Moan and the Board of Education members, please prepare for the presentation of diplomas. I just have a few quick points to mention as we get ready. As a courtesy to all of our graduates and their families, I'm asking that everyone hold their applause until all graduates have received their diplomas. This will ensure that everyone in attendance will be able to hear the name of the graduate being read. Seniors, embrace this special moment. You've earned it. There's no need to hurry across the stage. And just one last reminder, as you cross, Make sure you stop on the X on the stage to pause for a picture. All right, we're ready. Let's do this. Jordan Murray. 
Marie Berger. Nicholas Thomas Bogie. Nicholas Thomas Bogie. Jonathan Bracho Mallorquin. Juan M. Cortez, Jr. Thank 
fuerte. Jackson Flores. Janelle Flores. Abigail Christina Forrester. Abigail Ruth Foster. Johanna Mary Freeman. Daniela Jiménez. Hayden Marie Johnson. <laughs> Emily Julian. <laughs> Maxwell Thomas Taylor. 
Beats Callahan. Morgan Kenny.
Justin H. Sieber Jr.
almost there. Before we recognize our official graduates for the first time, we ask that our audience uh, to remain seated while the graduates recess out of the gym. After the ceremony, please meet your graduate out front. Graduates, you will need to collect all of your final documents, including your diploma, in the comments before you leave. You guys ready? <laughs> Parents and family, now is a good time to get your phone or camera ready. With I know we're all really excited. With the power vested in the administration of Woodstock North High School by the Woodstock Community Unit School District 200 Board of Education, we hereby confer the Woodstock North School Diploma with all of the rights, honors, and privileges that pertain to the diploma. Graduates, please stand. To signify your completion of the required program of Woodstock North High School, please move your tassels from right to left. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor to present to you the graduated class of 2023. Students, on a countdown from three, Let's toss those caps. Three, two, one. Congratulations to the senior class of 2023. Thank <laughs> you.